Yes, I know, I know, the title is just a joke, don't worry, I don't think you're actually stupid, but the fact is there are plenty of keyboard shortcuts in Windows you probably don't know, but really should, and some of them are so useful that you might actually kick yourself for not knowing them before. And also, even though this video focuses on Windows, many of these shortcuts also work on Mac and Linux as well, just by substituting Control with the Command key and Alt with the Option key, for example. Before we jump in, a quick reminder to check out my Instagram account where I post the most hilarious tech memes you've ever come across in existence, and cool tech stuff in general, and you can just follow me over on Instagram, it's just at Theojo. So first let's start off with shortcuts that are extremely useful, but also are very common, so you should hopefully already know all these, but if not, don't worry, it's all good, but definitely write these down, because no self-respecting Windows user should ever go without knowing these ones. And if you do know all these already, bear with me and stick around, we will get to a lot more. First up we have the classic copy and paste. I mean, you'd better know this one. To copy a file, text, literally anything in any program, it's control C, and then to paste it again, it's control V. But even you experts might not realize the more advanced options, such as the newer clipboard history feature, which can be utilized by pressing the Windows key plus V, and you can paste previously copied things too with this. This feature does have to be enabled in settings, so if you don't know about this one, as a side note, check out my other video talking about Windows features to enable, so I'll put that as a pop-up and in the description as well. But anyway, another option is pressing Control plus Shift plus V, which pastes text only as plain text, no formatting, which is great if you copied something with weird formatting, a big font, text color, or whatever, and you want to get rid of that. Another shortcut you absolutely better know is Control plus S, which just saves whatever document you have open in essentially every program ever. It's pretty universal. And there's also Control plus F, which is the universal find slash search command, and it works in Windows Explorer, web browsers to search web pages for certain text, and pretty much every other program as well. Another couple shortcuts that are basically required knowledge at this point are Control plus Z to undo something, and Control plus Y to redo something you just undid, or redo something you just did multiple times, even if you didn't necessarily undo it. Again, these are pretty self-explanatory and universal. You should also know about Alt F4, which is used to close out the current active window. Funny enough, this one is often used as a prank where people will tell you to press Alt F4 to activate some amazing feature, but it actually just shuts down the program you're using. A lot of times people would type this into video game chats and see how many people they can get to disconnect from the server, so don't fall for it yourself. All right, the final shortcuts in the you should really already know these category are how to select multiple files at once. In Windows Explorer or any other program you need to select things, you can shift and click on one item and then shift click another and it will simply select those two items and everything in between. Doing control click on the other hand will allow you to select multiple items individually without selecting anything in between. You can even combine the two using shift click to select one group and then control clicking something else and then shift clicking again yet another folder to make a second separate group selection as you can see here. Okay, next up, let's go over a couple function key shortcuts. You might already know about F5, which is the refresh key. This is mostly for web browsers, but also works elsewhere like in Windows Explorer, and it simply refreshes the page. However, a more advanced option is the so-called super refresh, which is Control plus F5, and in browsers, this not only refreshes the page, but also re-downloads any cached files for the page too. You can actually test this yourself on this cache refresh test website I found, where just refreshing doesn't change anything, but doing Control plus F5 does make it work. So if a web page is acting up and even refreshing it doesn't work, try doing Control F5 and that might help. The other function key you should know is F2, which in Windows Explorer renames files and folders. You just press it and then type whatever you want and hit enter and it will rename that thing. All right, now we're getting into shortcuts that not everyone knows but still should. And the first shortcut is to bring up the task manager directly, which is Control plus Shift plus Escape. You probably already know about Control alt delete which is another way to do it, but that requires an extra step and brings up this whole screen with other options, whereas Control shift escape just brings it up immediately. Next up, we have the common task switcher, which is just Alt-Tab, which again, most people probably already know actually, but you might not know about the alternative Win key plus Tab shortcut, which is really similar to Alt-Tab, but provides some extra functionality. For example, if you use multiple virtual desktops 
Win tab will show those too. And it also shows the more recent timeline feature so you can scroll through and see recently used files and stuff like that. One incredibly useful feature is the one to lock your computer, which is Windows key plus L. You can use this anytime you need to get up from your computer and you don't want people messing with it and will require you to type in your password or use a fingerprint sensor or whatever else you use to log back in. It's especially useful on laptops, but good for desktops too, like if you're in an office environment. Obviously, if you don't have a login password for Windows, this won't help, but that's just common sense. Another good shortcut is Control plus A, which is the select all command. Whether you're on a web page, in a word processor, or whatever other program, this just selects everything, not just text, but images and stuff too. There are a couple limited situations it might behave differently. For example, if you're typing in a text box in a browser, it will usually just select everything in the text box. So to select everything outside of that, you'd have to click out of that first and then do it again. Speaking of selecting things, if you use a laptop without a mouse frequently, this one will definitely come in handy, which is using the shift plus arrow keys to select text. This one is good if you use a trackpad, which can be really annoying for selecting text accurately, especially a lot of it. And one thing to note is if you use the mouse or trackpad to select a block of text first, you can then use shift plus arrows to modify the selection based on where you stopped selecting the mouse. So if you run out of trackpad, you can just select more with this. Alternatively, you can also use the shift plus click like we talked about before, which will select the text between the two points you select. Okay, up next, we have the shortcut for snapping windows to different parts of the screen using the Windows key plus arrow keys. With a window active, pressing Win plus left or right will snap it to the left or right half of the screen. And if you then press Win up or down, it will snap it into the perspective corner. You can also press Win plus up or down arrows to minimize and maximize the window. So these are really useful if you do a lot of multitasking. One shortcut even I wish I knew about earlier myself is the Windows key plus D command, which hides all open windows to show the desktop. You can then press it again to restore them right back. This is good if you store files and shortcuts on your desktop you access frequently, and then using this, you won't have to minimize and restore programs every time. I like it a lot. Moving on, here's a good one having to do with the quick launch bar in the taskbar. Any programs you put here can actually be launched using the keyboard shortcuts, specifically by using Windows key plus whatever number of the position of that program in the quick launch bar. So for example, Win plus one launches the first program and so on, very useful. All right, now we've got a few shortcuts that are specifically just for web browsers, but basically all of them support these same shortcuts so we can still go over them, they're universal enough. One I use all the time and you absolutely need to know is Control plus Shift plus T, which restores closed tabs. There are countless times where I close a tab by accident or I just wasn't thinking and I want it back and this shortcut does just that. Another one is the F11 key, which toggles full screen mode in browsers. More often than not, I just accidentally activate this, so it might be more useful to know just so you can disable it in that case, but might also be good if you're doing a screen share or something and you don't want any extra stuff on the screen. Okay, we're not done yet because even though those are 20 shortcuts you should definitely know and memorize, there are a lot that are still good to know that we can go over even if they aren't super commonly used. So let's go over some bonus Windows key shortcuts to get this video over 10 minutes, shall we? You guys know how the YouTube algorithm is. Here's one that is not well known but is really great and it's the Windows plus Shift plus S command for screenshotting. This automatically opens the Snip and Sketch app built into Windows, then lets you make a selection of the screen to either copy to the clipboard or save to a file. So if you're still one of those noobs using the print screen key and you have to crop the screenshot in Microsoft Paint, time to get with the times. Another good little shortcut is Win plus P, which lets you change windows into projection mode if you need to present something from your computer. Then you have the options for which way you want the second display to behave, like mirrored or second screen only, etc. If you're using a Windows tablet device, you should definitely know about the Win plus O command, which locks the screen orientation so it doesn't start rotating if you don't want it to. Or if you just want to prank your friends, you can use the hilarious Control plus Alt arrow commands to rotate the screen around to confuse the heck out of them. Just don't be evil and be sure to tell them how to restore it quickly after. All right, next up, there are a few shortcuts that just open up various menus in Windows, like the Win plus E shortcut, which brings up a new Windows Explorer window, either the This PC location or Quick Access menu, depending on your setting. 
Again, be sure to watch my other video about Windows settings to change if you wanna know about more stuff like that. Another is Win plus I, which brings up the settings menu. So I guess if you just love that settings menu so much, you need a shortcut to literally save seconds. There you go. And there's also the Win plus R shortcut, which brings up the run box. Though these days, usually you can just type whatever you'd put into this box into the start menu instead, and that'll work too. Now, finally, I've saved the best for last, only for you elite viewers who watched this far into the video, and the secret, ultimate shortcut you must know is Windows key plus semicolon, which brings up the emoji panel. Yes, truly mind blowing, I know, no need to thank me, but if you do wanna to brag to all the other plebs who didn't watch this far, be sure to leave a comment below saying, I'm an elite computer expert who watched till the end, and go ahead and add your favorite emoji too using this truly epic shortcut you just learned. Obviously mine is the thinking emoji, which if you've watched my channel for any amount of time should be painfully obvious. So yeah, by now you should truly be a computer shortcut expert Expert. Let me know in the comments if I missed any big ones and be sure to check down there too because someone might have mentioned one that's good that I didn't. If you want to keep watching, be sure to check out my other videos where I go over Windows settings to change. I actually made two of them, so I'll put those right here. You can just click on them or just look in the description too. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.